focus, Cal. I don't think that worked. You better not tell me you're one of them. One of who? One of them fools hollering at me to throw a Raiders or Gone party. No, I'm not one of those fools. Well, good. For starters, the Raiders are still out there causing trouble, leader or not. I mean, worse, these prospecting fools want me to throw that party for free. Well, not on their lives. No such thing as a free lunch, let alone a free party. I don't care what the occasion is. We're in this together. You want something? You pay your share. Cal, what's up with that woman who showed up with you? Aaron? She's a good friend. What about her? Mm, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Are you afraid of Marin? Me? Oh, no, no, no. It's just... I've never seen anyone like her before. Marin's a night sister. A night what? Uh, wait, what is what is that? She's from Dathomir, and she can perform magic. <laughs> now you're just yanking my Waluna ears. I'm not. She can wake the dead. Don't worry. You have nothing to be afraid of. Usually. Cal! Well, all I know is if the dead start walking around here, you're gonna get an earful. You know what I like about you, Cal? You're not always bugging me to step in and help you solve disputes and whatnot. I like to try to handle my own problems. Guessing that's the same with you. That's right. A while back, this one prospector got into an argument with his protocol droid. Got so worked up, he got violent. So, I stepped in, told the prospector if he laid another hand on his droid, I would ban him from my shop and cut his credit with every vendor in town. So, yeah, that shut him up pretty quick. Since then, well, I've been the closest thing to a mayor this town has. I wouldn't want to mess with you. That's another thing I like about you, Cal. Smart enough to know trouble when you see it. Take a look around.
I know that look. What look? I don't have a look. Dagon. His army. Those were long odds. Even for you. I didn't let my past control me. Dagon's overwhelmed him. To be honest, I had no idea if I could. But I had to believe. Well, I knew you would come back. Of course. You're not getting rid of me that easily. This reminds me of old times. Okay, I'll catch you later. Like to talk in a bit, yeah? Ready to move? Shut it, it is. You think Cordova can repair that compass? Oh, I bet credits he can. You have credits to bet? What's that supposed to mean? Tantalor. We're so close now. I'm excited to see Tantalor. Oh, me too. But just don't go starting a witch school or something. I definitely don't invite those creepy sisters of yours. But they're here now, Grease. All around you. I just sensed something, Grease. Did you feel that? Are you kidding me? All right, Cal, get up here. Coming? I'll be in later. I just gotta run another diagnostic on the Mantis. Ugh, it'd be a shame if we blow another gyro and get stuck in the abyss. Well, come on, why'd you have to say that? You jinxed us. Oh, this is just great. You think Mara's got any magic tricks that'll ward off bad luck? Go do what you gotta do. Shake these things, but I keep thinking about Coruscant. I try not to. I get that. For some reason, Gabs keeps popping into my head. Hardly knew me. Still gave me a hard time. <laughs> yeah. I miss her. Yeah. Only good inquisitors. Well, you know. <laughs> Look at me turning things dark again. Sorry. Cal? So, about what happened on the Mesa? The Empire will think twice before sending another Trident to Jeddah. Well, I was actually, um... I know what you are asking, Cal. My sisters taught me that to discuss a spell is to unravel it. So let us let this one lie. For now. Fair enough. We'll talk more later. Master Cordova. Dagangara had the last compass, but it's... Damaged. He didn't exactly hand it over. This... can be repaired. I'll begin at once. BD. Let's give Master Cordova some time to concentrate. I know a place with a view. Good. Hey! 
I have more tea. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of heavy. If anybody wanted to give me a hand, Of course, Bernice. Ah, nice. oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, very funny. Oh. OK, here you go, round two. What do you think? It's strong. It's very sweet. You'll get used to it. <clears throat> you see her. Why don't you join us on Tantalor? There's no better home for the Archive or the Hidden Path. But whatever the future holds, we can face it together. Yes. It's a new path for all of us. Cal, Master T'Pol would be proud of the Jedi you have become. I had a good teacher. Everyone, the hidden path has found a new home. To Tantalor. To Tantalor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Seer. Does that mean you're coming? Yes, Grease. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go and prepare the archive for relocation. Well, it's getting late. I'll go with you. Say, where is the manis in there? This place is terrifying at night. I will escort you. Oh, great. But, hey, none of that creepy stuff, OK? Seer, are the Anchorage really coming with us? Of course, yes. Wow, our family's growing with a boatload of creepy aunts and uncles. We did it, Boat. Yeah. Compass is going to be good as new. Something's bothering you. Ah, oh, you know me too well, Scrapper. Just thinking about Kata. And people looking after her, but... It's always a bit tough when I come back. When she sees what you've done for her, she'll understand. I was thinking maybe we should go to Ten War first. Just make sure it's safe before the others join. Mm, the sooner we get the hidden path set up there, the better. You gotta stay one step ahead of the Empire, right? Yeah. Hey. Tomorrow we're gonna have a new home. Couldn't have done that without you, Boat. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, <clears throat> gonna go record a bedtime story for Kata. You have a good night. You've earned it. What a view, huh? Desert at night seems to stretch on forever. Hmm. And there is beauty and emptiness. Now you sound like a Jedi. I think of a few things, right? Not everything. Look, uh, the order's gone. It's time to leave it behind. And. I know what I want now. Took you long enough.